Hi, Lodra back here for just a few tips on how to set up a home meditation practice. It's basically me saying consistency to you four times, but I'm going to try and make it sound more interesting than that. One, setting a consistent amount of time is really helpful. If you use the guided recording for this course, lo and behold, you'll have about 10 minutes of practice. That's a really good place to start. Some people might want to do more practice during this time. Great. You could do two practice sessions in 10 minutes. You could do 20 minutes right off the bat. Whatever you feel comfortable with, you don't have to use the guided recording by any stretch of the imagination. The technique itself is pretty simple, but some people really prefer to have some guidance up to you. But the idea here is that we would just do that amount of time that we do. If it's 10 minutes, we just say, I'm doing 10 minutes. When the timer goes off or the guided meditation ends, we get up and we go about the day. We don't say, oh, that was a good meditation. I should do more. And we don't bolt halfway through saying, this isn't working for me. I got to go do something else. We let 10 minutes of meditation be 10 minutes of meditation. The reason here is that there's enough other areas of our life that we judge ourselves around. Maybe it's our work or our romantic relationships or whatever. We don't need to judge ourselves in meditation. It is a judgment-free zone. Please keep it that way. So 10 minutes of meditation is 10 minutes of meditation, and that's good. Two, consistent time of day. It's really helpful if you can build this into other existent routines in your day. That might be your getting up in the morning routine, your going to bed routine, your getting off from the workday routine, whatever you want to do. But just saying, oh, that's just what I do. So I get up, I shower, I get dressed, I walk the dog, I meditate. Probably somewhere in there you brushed your teeth as well, but you don't think to mention brushing your teeth because it's just automatic, right? We don't often talk about it. Same thing, meditation. If we just bake it into the routine, 10 minutes, it's just 10 minutes, it makes it a lot easier to get consistent. If we're always trying to schedule it, saying, oh, I'll do it then, or I'll do it there, we often push it off and push it off, and then we say, I'll do it tomorrow. And then we repeat that cycle. So getting into a consistent time of day, whatever works best for you is good. For some people, that might be the morning before we even check our email and let the mind speed up to full capacity. That's probably a nice time to do it, but it really is a matter of personal preference. But pick a consistent time of day. Three, consistent environment. I know this is a time where a lot of people are on top of each other. It might be hard to have like a, this is my room that I meditate, right? But picking a quiet corner, picking some space that feels um, spacious and open and not too claustrophobic would be good. Somewhere that you could, if you have your eyes open, cast your gaze a few feet ahead of you. Um, if you wanted to invest in a meditation cushion, you can. But you could also, you know, put some pillows down and has something there that magnetizes you. That's the important thing. So it could be a statue, it could be an image of someone you admire, it could be an incense burner or a candle. Something that says, this is where I consistently go to meditate. Having that consistent space inspires us to go to it regularly. If we have to spend 10 minutes to set up that space and we only had 10 minutes to begin with, we're probably not gonna meditate. So, but if it's waiting for us, we're more likely to visit it. Four, consistent pacing. Here's my big challenge to you. Do the 10 minutes of meditation every day this week. One week. Try it. See how it feels. Give it a real chance. If that seven days turns into five days, I'm not going to, you know, it's okay. I get it. That happens. But the more we put into this practice, the more we get out of it. Now, there's been a lot of science around meditation and positive habits and things like that. And it's said that if we do something like meditation 11 days in a row, it starts to become habit forming in the brain after 21 days. Supposedly, it's a fully formed habit. Skipping it would probably feel similar to like skipping brushing your teeth. It would just feel weird. So if you want to aim for 11 or 21 days, great, do it. And I think you'll find it's easier to get into a rhythm at that point. My math is probably a little bit off, but 10 minutes a day at 11 days in a row, it's right around two hours of your time invested overall, which in the grand scheme of a lifetime, to build a practice that feels really life-changing for you, it's a pretty good investment. Okay, thanks so much for watching, and I hope to uh, connect with you again very soon. Take care.